Hi, Mike McCulley here. I, I am in uh, Williams Lake again. I am at the Central Command Post in camp at the Caribou Fire Centre. I'm with Phil McDonald from New Zealand. He's the incident commander responsible for the uh, whole Central Command complex. And I would just like to uh, talk to Phil a little bit about what it's been like for him to be here in Canada. So, Phil, uh, have you been before to Canada on a fire deployment? Uh, yes, I was fortunate enough to um, travel and, and work in Alberta in 2015 on a, on a month-long deployment. Oh great, and how long have you been uh, doing this type of work? Um, probably close to 40 years. I oh guess. wow, so yeah. lots of experience for sure, we're lucky to have yeah. that here. Um, Bill, maybe talk a little bit to us about uh, what it's been like here to fight wildfire or, or supervise a team as compared to back home in New Zealand where you're from. Well our, our, our wildfire tends to be a much, much shorter duration. You know, you, you are um, focusing on, on campaign fires and all that brings with management of fire camps and, and crew rotations and really planning and firefighting on a mega scale compared to what we have in New Zealand. All the principles are the same, it's really got to do with size. Right, excellent. So certainly, uh, you know, with, a, with an incident this large that we're seeing here in the Caribou this summer, quite, quite, a, quite a catastrophe for our country, obviously. Um, can you maybe talk a little bit about some of the challenges that you face, Phil, when you're running such a large, complex incident? I mean, you're the commander responsible for the safety of many crew. Uh, you've got air going and uh, different operational things. Maybe just talk about some of the challenges you face every day. Well, I guess uh, the greatest challenge comes from, from scale and, and duration. And so... Um, the complexity that a camp of this size in the management of the camp as well as managing the daily operational delivery is really is really what what differentiates you know between between Canada and New Zealand and um, there's been quite a significant um, learning curve for our people they, they came here with a skill base to do the job but obviously if you're going into someone else's country and working within their systems not only do you have to deliver as soon as you arrive, but you have to get your head around how you guys do the job. Yeah, I can imagine that's very complex. Um, when you come into country like this and you're looking at these different fuel types, maybe talk a little bit about how the fuel is different back home in New Zealand versus what we're seeing here. Well, we're quite fortunate in New Zealand in that we've burgled a lot of your your, your fire weather systems and uh -huh. um, you know a lot of your, your technical um, know-how sort of in the 60s and we're going back to the 50s and so the the for the fire behavior persons and, and the guys doing operational delivery there's a lot of commonality um, and that also extends into the way um, our um, incident management teams work we the reason we're able to come over and um, work so successfully in Canada and, and in the US is that we pretty much have trained and work with the same incident management system and, and the operational delivery. There's a lot of similarities between our countries. Yeah, it works out really well. And I know that when I talk to professional firefighters like yourself from all over the world, um, there's lots of rewards that you get from fighting fire. So maybe you could talk a little bit about what it's like to watch your team you know, succeed every day and uh, how does that make you feel at the end of the day and at the end of a deployment? Well, there's two parts to it is, and, and, that's, and that's really the, 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 the the charge that you get from from doing your job well in relation to your team and, and really seeing your team sort of rise to the occasion and also the charge you get from from working within the communities that 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 we that we're stationed in you know and and, um, and both of those combined means that for most well for all people that come across to to um, work in Canada it is the highlight of their usually of their working career it enables individuals to focus on on their craft and focus for an extended period of time and you know this we go back sort of much more capable people than we've arrived oh that's quite something yeah so uh, how long have you been here phil and when do you get to go home um well we we deployed from new zealand um sort of on a like a 36 day um rotation which covers off um, initial induction travel Two 14 hour, um, sorry, two 14 um, day work periods with a rest period, two days in the centre, and then another 14. So we are now into our second 14 period, and uh, we've got about a week and a half to go. 
Great. Well, I know that uh, on behalf of all British Columbians and the citizens, particularly around Williams Lake, we, uh, we're very lucky to have our partners like yourselves here helping us uh, get through this tragedy that we're having. And i uh, just like to say thank you very much, and we really appreciate it. Thank you, Mike. And Phil McDonald from uh, New Zealand here helping us out as the incident commander in the Central Complex.